Hello, this is Sintla Everson of Fair Divorce, and today I'm having an interesting conversation with Karinho Dan. She is a family counsellor and also a grief and trauma therapist. Uh, Karin, welcome and thank you for being here today. Please tell us a little bit more about who you are and what it is that you do. Hi, Sinta. Yes, thank you very much for the opportunity. I think you've captured in a nutshell uh, what I do. And uh, it, it is focused on family. But in the current situation where we are in the world, family, family problems have in the past perhaps been able to, to have been dealt with in a different way. But now we add trauma to every single family, to every home in different ways. So I, I find that most of what I'm dealing with this year specifically is grief and sometimes trauma combined with grief because of what people go through in that process of losing loved ones in, with the effects of COVID at the hospital and the funeral and everything to do with that. But other than that, I uh, work with families, especially as regards recovery, mm -hmm. connecting people who need to be together, want to be together, but are disconnected through either conflict or trauma that has happened. And that is for, especially for, for parents with teenagers, uh, families who go through the teenage storms of life with their kids and they find that things happen that they were never actually prepared for. So that is, that's uh, another feature of what I do. Sounds very interesting. And I'm thinking with particular reference to the work that I do, which is with families that are going through separation and divorce, and even new blended families and second marriages. How would that uh, tie in with what you are doing? I hear you talk about trauma and grief. Would you, would you categorize divorce or separation as a traumatic experience? I suppose it depends on how people manage the process. And there's also some degree of grief involved in it, don't you think? Yes, definitely. Uh, I wrote a, a, a book, a booklet, which is on my website for free download. And it's actually called Grief Support. But in fact, it deals with loss. And yes, divorce is one of the major losses that we go through. And in South Africa, the statistics are actually just shocking. Yes. Trauma does enter the, the, the picture with divorce when, well, when things happen that are, are traumatic, especially if both parties were not, not prepared for what was coming. Mm. And then, of course, it, leaves, uh, it often leaves young, young children in the wake of that divorce. So I, I really aim to support people even after a divorce with co-parenting workshops. Mm -hmm. And I find one of the biggest issues that come up with co-parenting are either one of the parties who, who needs some help with letting go of the fact that you're not in that marriage anymore and how difficult that sometimes can be because you can be blindsided you know by not seeing how you're how you're actually still entangled there but you chose to leave or you agreed to a divorce perhaps and you that 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 individual is battling to actually establish their own identity their own life and carry on in a new fresh way with a healthy co-parenting yeah. uh, relationship so I, I often come in in that sense um with a supportive uh, therapy and a workshop uh, to help people so that they can carry on because life is life. And if you've gone through a divorce, it's difficult sometimes to accept the finality of it. And, and we need help with that because unfortunately it is final. And yes. that's, that's how it is. That's very true. And a very valuable thing that you mentioned, I have found also that in a divorce, the two parties are never on the same page. And the party who normally asks for the divorce have already gone through some process of mourning the loss of the marriage, 
have come to terms with the finality of it and they've probably moved on to some degree in some cases some people have already fallen in love with a new partner and things like that so as much as the person who's left behind needs very strong support in dealing with the shock from literally having the carpet pulled from under them the person who walks away also needs support and, and training to reach an understanding of where the other person is so that where they are eager to move on and get things finalized and start their new lives, they need to be very much aware and mindful of the needs of the other person in the process. Right, you're very right. And, and, and it is not easy, uh, or, or it's not easier when, when children are involved. Yes. Because yes. It's not just about you, it's also about dealing with all their emotions. And that just makes it so much more difficult to go through that recovery. And one of the things that I find uh, women often struggle with is understanding their new status yeah. and processing yeah. their new identity because it has changed. Yeah. It really has changed. Your status in society changes. That's true. Uh, and, and it's a shock sometimes, especially if you were really idealistic and focused on your, your, your marriage as an, as an ideal dream and that it would last forever. Uh, and then, then the recovery process is, is sometimes a bit longer because of the shock that's involved mm -hmm. and having to actually bury, bury your, your ideal, your dream, and everything that you put into it, it's an investment, you know, into your marriage that has now brought up nothing. Yes. Difficult, difficult to deal with. It's that. true. It's actually a, a huge loss because dreams are shattered. Everything, when we get married, we have this long-term vision of how things are going to turn out and a plan of what our life is going to be like. And then when that suddenly changes, it's very disruptive, actually. It has a huge impact. Very disruptive. And Yes, and then family, extended family is also affected. It's, yes. it's not just the couple, and, and that can also bring in complicate, complications. Something else that I work with is compatibility and growth workshops. Tell us so more if about you have that. Been, if you have been divorced, uh, then m maybe you are really battling to, to, to envisage yourself in any kind of trust relationship again. And maybe you go through relationships, but you never get to a commitment. Uh, and then it, it's helpful to do a workshop that, that clarifies what compatibility really is. Is there really such a thing? Is it a myth? Uh, is it very important engaged before I get married? So I like to do that because it really helps people to become more realistic about our, our humanness, if I can put it that way. Yeah. Our humanness, our frailties, the fact that we are never going to be perfect, but that we can match. We yeah. can match. And how, how can we actually <clears throat> see that we can work together at the dream that we both have. It, uh, we don't have to be the same. Yes. And you know that opposites attract anyway. Yes. <laughs> it's true. And, and, then, and then often when things start going wrong, some one of the two people will start asking, but are we compatible? And is that the right question to ask? Mm. So I, I do a workshop that, that covers that and, and clarifies a lot of the, I think the anguish that goes with, not wanting to make a mistake again. Yes, that, that's a very interesting. And I imagine that can also be valuable for people after divorce also, because the more insight you have in what the challenges were in the relationship and maybe the reasons for it um, break, for breaking up uh, can go a long way towards helping you have a good co-parenting relationship post-divorce if you have children because we need a certain degree of understanding and, and, and also to find a new common ground after divorce where we can co-parent to operate as a within the new family dynamic. Okay. Yeah, very interesting. Yes, absolutely. And it can, it can be an opportunity for major growth in your life. 
Yeah. Okay, that's very interesting. Do you want to tell us quickly about your tall trees profile? Because I think that is also something valuable. Yes, uh, the tall trees uh, profile is a three dimensional, whereas most other profiles are one dimensional. Mm -hmm. And the algorithm is actually adapted so that it can either apply to your parenting style. So that helps a lot when we do co-parenting workshops. Uh, or you have the choice of an adult uh, leadership temperament profile. And for short, we just call it a TTLP. And it's, a, it's an online quiz. It's, it's short enough to complete within about 20 minutes. Okay. But it gives a three-dimensional profile then of you as an adult with all your strengths, with all your growth points. But specifically, it highlights how you are put together in your original design as a person uniquely for your social style, how you, how you talk, how you communicate, how you act and interact with people. That's where you can see where your possible conflict areas lie. And then how you approach tasks, whether you're uh, task or people orientated and all that goes along with that. It's quite comprehensive. And then thirdly, what your mindset is, your life view, because from your mind, the rest of you is driven, all your actions, all your decisions, and eventually your habits. And when you've done a profile like that, you usually get at least two uh, free sessions with me uh, for assessment and feedback. And it helps people to see themselves so objectively, maybe sometimes for the first time in their life, but to see the potential that they have to get along with others in an even better way. And it really creates a new sense of appreciation for oneself, especially if you've been broken down or hurt or having to deal with a disappointment in life. That sounds wonderful. And for those of you who are watching this, I will put um, Karin's information in the video and below in the comments when we post it. So we'll let you know how to get hold of her. Thank you very much, Karin. Appreciate the time. And I hope to chat to you some more soon. Thank you, Santa. I really appreciate it. It was a, an exciting uh, few minutes with you. And uh, I look forward to working with you more in the future. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.